Hello, hello. So in this section, now that we have our sketch all ready to go, I'm going to show you a way to uh, make selections on this so you don't have to worry about staying inside the lines once you create the initial shape without using the path tool. Yes, it's the, none of this, none of this stuff. So, uh, okay. So there are actually two ways. I'm going to show you one way first and then I will show you the second way. Okay, the one first way is called the quick mask mode. So it's right here. Shortcut is Q. So you click on this, so it turns dark. Okay, now you take a brush. You want a brush that has a hard edge, hardness 100%, and very little spacing. Okay and zoom in and start coloring the edges like this. So it's just like the watercolor liquid mask. So you, you're coloring the parts you want to save. And don't worry, it's Photoshop. So there's always ways to inverse the selection. So you're only coloring in the inside. Okay. So make sure that your brush up here is normal mode, 100% opacity, 100% flow. Otherwise, you're going to get unevenness in the thickness. And just like the watercolor liquid mask, if it's too thin or too thick, it's going to cause a weird effect. So it's good to be safe than sorry. Okay, so this is a hole where the vessels go. So I'm going to leave this out. And uh, I'm using a Wacom tablet, but it makes it really easy, really intuitive. You don't have to think about curves or anything. Just, you know, make sure you cover all the surface that's going to be your subject. Okay, whoops, and if you mess up, just simply take an eraser and erase. Sorry, I had that eraser on the inverse for a second. So another option is um, when you hit D, the palette, the foreground and background color turn black and white. So if it's in a brush mode, black means color in. And if you flip, white means to erase. So if you want to cover all the areas first and then go back and take out the smaller areas, that's totally fine too. And uh, like this, you can just keep a visual track of where you are. Okay, and uh, I think I'm about halfway through, so I'm going to back up. And uh, see, all the pink parts is going to be now selected separately from what's white. Okay, so I'm not done here, but when you are done, go ahead and hit this button again. And you see the marching ants. Okay, so now go back to your layer. You never want to paint on your sketch layer, but you want to paint in the layer below and start with, you know, whatever your style is. I tend to start with like a nice broad local color. Okay. And see how I can't go outside the marching ants. Okay, and if you don't want to see this marching ant, let's go to view and hide. Okay, and now even though the marching ant you can't see, it's still active. So, so just like that. Just uh, don't forget that it's on because that's. It's a very uh, common mistake of all of a sudden Photoshop stops painting is because you have a hidden selection activated. So, yep, so this is one. This is called Quick Mask. And, real quick, to save this, all you have to do is open up the channels palette. Here's your Quick Mask. Just drag it down so it's a new layer. And now it's your Quick Mask copy. Okay, because <coughs> you can only save one Quick Mask at a time. So if you want to save this as a shape, don't forget to make a copy. Alright, 